Hey guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com. So today we're going to take a look at part one of One Rainy Wish by Jimi Hendrix. This was requested and supported by David, so huge thanks goes out to him for the support. And like I mentioned, this is going to be just a part of the lesson. The full complete lesson is going to be available at GuitarForce.com. The link is going to be in the description box down below. And you're going to get the transcription of two guitars. There are two guitars uh, in that song. And uh, also uh, the tabs, all of the tabs in PDF format, and also a full playthrough. Uh, now in this uh, lesson we're going to take a look at the first part. Uh, we're going to skip the intro and we're going to go right into the, um, into the verse, which is kind of the, um, the main part of the song. And uh, I'm going to show you the chord progression and also going to show you, I'm going to break down the full uh, first verse of the song, how Jimmy plays it, and uh, the rest you can find in the uh, full lesson. Uh, the solo, the uh, rhythm guitar, uh, and the second verse and the outro, it's all going to be there. Also, while we're talking about Jimi Hendrix, if you haven't had a chance to check out my course on Jimmy's style of playing, uh, which is a huge lesson, it's in two parts, it's called Get Experienced. Uh, check it out. The link is also going to be in the description box down below and you can find a little video explaining all of the uh, things that I'm covering in that course. Uh, so if you're interested, check it out. Alright, so now getting back to the lesson, we're going to be in half step down, tuning on all the strings. And I was using the VST plugin guitar rig for my sound. I'm going to show you the pictures of the presets that I was using and while you're checking them out I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, one more thing, if you would like to check out the full playthrough, it's going to be available on my other channel. I will also post a link in the description box down below. Without further ado, let's go for the close-up and start the lesson. Alright, so now we continue with the first verse. And again, we have two guitars going on here. We're going to be concentrating main, mainly on the rhythm guitar. Uh, we're going to leave out the lead guitar for now. The lead guitar is just adding some uh, ad-libs, like I said, and it's all based on the... Uh, on the C sharp minor or A or E major pentatonic, and um, so we're gonna leave out uh, the the lead guitar for now, um, and we're gonna be concentrating on the rhythm guitar. And um, one key thing here to mention is that we're gonna be playing in three four, so we have three beats to a bar. And another thing, <clears throat> before we dive into the details of uh, the rhythm guitar, I'm just going to explain the, uh, uh, the chord progression here. So, we start off with the E for one bar, then we go to A for one bar, then we're back to E, one bar, then we have C sharp minor, one bar, then we have again E, one bar, A, for one bar, E one bar, and then C sharp minor for two bars. And then the whole cycle starts uh, all over again. So E, A, E, C sharp minor for one bar, then again E, A, E, C sharp minor for two bars. And in the end of the, um, of the first verse, the C sharp minor we play uh, for, for three bars all together. So there is, there is an additional bar um, uh, to the, um, in the end of the verse. Okay, so now that we got that, the positions of the chords are mainly, we have the E in this position, but also here. And uh, um, the A predominantly in this position right here. Sometimes Jimmy plays it here, but mostly in this position. And also C sharp minor, he, he plays it here and also in this position as well, mostly in this one. Alright, so now we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna break up um, the verse into bars. So I'm gonna be playing uh, bar by bar 
and again in the tablature you can see uh, the notation uh, I'm just gonna play through slowly but I'm gonna be also commenting on some of the things so the first bar we start off we have this so here we're gonna be breaking up the chord into parts so we play the uh, the bass note first then we have the rest of the chord but we add the hammer on pull off here like that then we have these four notes as uh, part of the lick then we go to the next bar we have the A now and we go like this so here again kind of breaking up the chord into lower register higher register picking it two times then we have this lick so back to the E chord alright that's the next part so here we play kind of bassy um, uh, lick so we have like that so you can uh, again just keep in mind that Jimmy varies the rhythm all the time so sometimes he might play um, a quarter note you know or he would play two eighth notes right and the same goes for the single notes so sometimes he would play an eighth note or, or sometimes he would play two sixteenth notes so when you play it um, kind of faster you know this doesn't really make a difference except for certain um, uh, parts of the uh, of the song but generally if you hit it two times or one time you know it doesn't really matter as long as you are uh, changing the chords at the at the right time so let's continue um, again we have uh, this part of the uh, E chord all right then we go into C sharp minor and we have uh, this going on all right so here we have if if I play slowly this so it's just a, basically holding the chord like that and randomly picking it and then we have um, uh, that part which is the uh, double stops like that so like that one more time slowly then we move on to the E now again in, into this position and we have this So, one more time. Okay, so here we have, first we play the chord, then we have the lick. So, hammer on, pull off, then hammer on, and then hammer on, and then slide out. Go into the A chord now, uh, and we have this. So here Jimmy used a lot of this, this lick, so he would play the, the low E string, the A note, then he would play this lick, and then uh, kind of staying on this chord, picking the strings, and then these three notes uh, on the A string, as um, as the uh, part of the lick okay so one more time slowly okay now we go to the E chord and we have the low E string open and then it's followed by a lick which goes like this so here now we go into into this position of the uh, um, E major pentatonic or C sharp minor uh, pentatonic. So we have a lot of double stops here. Sorry. 
like that. So have on the D and the G strings with a hammer on, and then. So now moving on to the A string, the hammer on. So first is going to be like that, and then like that. So all together. Now we go to the C sharp minor and we have So because we stay on the C sharp minor for two bars now Jimmy plays the bass note first in the first bar and then he plays So that's for the first bar then we kind of repeat the phrase again and then he adds just uh, staying on the chord and adding 16th notes. So both bars together are gonna be like this, slowly. Okay, after that we go back to the beginning of the chord progression. So now again back to the E, but we stay in this position. So we have... So that's the part that we play, low E string open, then picking the chord two times. And then we have, again, playing with the double stops, like that. Going to the A chord, and again, we do the same thing with the thumb and uh, that lick that we did previously. Okay, so that, that's what we play. So again, the, the first part is exactly the same. And then we add that double stop again. Then we have the transitioning notes. Back to the E chord, now we change the, uh, the position, we go down here. So, low E string, again doing this as we did in the beginning uh, of the verse. Grace notes, 2 to 4 here on the D string. Then we have slides on the A string going to the D string. Then we go to the C sharp minor and we play this. So on the C-sharp minor, we're just kind of breaking up the chord. Then we add 16th notes here. So on the D-string, playing um, the 6th fret, then going to the 4th fret. One more time, the whole thing. Back to the E chord. Again, we play the uh, next phrase which goes like this. So here, again breaking up the chord with a hammer on pull off. Then we have slides into the 4th fret on the A string. And then picking again the A string to the D on the same fret. Going to the A again and we do this um, the phrase that we did previously, so again. So here's slightly different. Uh, so we play the first part. That part stays the same and then we play. So here. On these two strings. And then. That part. Like that. So all together, slowly. Back to the E chord again, but we stay in this position and it goes like this. So picking the low E string two times. Then we have the double stop, hammer on pull off. And then we hammer on onto the A string on the 11th fret. So. 
like that. And then we are um, at the end of the first verse, so we go to the C sharp minor. We're going to be staying on this chord for uh, three three bars. And what we have is uh, rhythmically goes like this. So again, it's very similar. Uh, we're gonna play this uh, quite often in the song. So again, breaking up the chord into lower register and higher register. So we have. And then in the very end, we have the C sharp major now. So we hit the chord. And here the um, time signature changes to 4-4. Four, four, and this is the chord before we go into the um, chorus. So this was the last uh, part of the verse. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to be playing all of these parts that we've um, uh, played just now, that we've broken down. I'm going to play them um, back to back but I'm going to be playing them slowly so you can see and hear how the whole uh, verse is put together. So it goes like this. so that was it for this part i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up uh, if you would like to continue learning the full lesson check out the link in the description box down below uh, comment share subscribe if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the bell button next to the subscribe so you can stay updated with the latest videos when they come out don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons in the meantime i'll see you again take it easy and as always let the force be with you